What's up, money growers? Jacob back here with another video talking to you guys something today that's going to be important for a lot of you who are looking to join Navy Federal Credit Union, okay? If you're uh, new to the finance world or the business world or banking, credit unions, all that kind of stuff, and you're starting to look at getting checking accounts, savings accounts, credit cards, right? Particularly high limit credit cards that Navy Federal is known for particularly. Um, you've probably come across Navy Federal at some point. So I'm going to talk about seven things that you need to know before you join Navy Federal Credit Union because they are very popular and there's reasons for that that they are super popular, but there are some things you want to know beforehand before you even go diving into trying to look about joining this credit union. So go ahead, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet because there's always more stuff to talk about when it comes to business, finance, credit cards, um, Navy Federal, other credit unions, banks, all that kind of fun stuff. So let's dive into this. So first thing you want to know is one, if you're even eligible to join, okay? So in Navy Federal, people think there's a couple misconceptions about it, all right? So people think it's just for military members, which it's not. It's also for civilians. Sometimes people think it's just for Navy. Like you have to be in the Navy to be in there and you don't. It's for all the branches of the military, okay? And I know that um, several branches, like obviously the Navy, I know uh, someone said the Army, they sign you up for it at basic training. I don't know if every branch does it, so like the Marines, Air Force, um, Coast Guard, Space Force. I don't know if they do Navy Federal when you sign up or when you're basic training as well. But if not, then you know you probably sign up for some other credit union, right? So, you know, if you're military, active duty, guard, reserve. If you're retired, you know, you're eligible to join. For civilians, a lot of it's just family stuff. Um, so, you know, direct family, immediate family, um, obviously a spouse, children, including stepchildren, grandchildren, um, adopted children as well, DOD employees are eligible to join certain um, employee groups are eligible, even a roommate, just like a housemate. So you need to know that if you're going to be able to, then it's all over their website <laughs> to know if you're eligible to join or not. So and you can, um, first you need to check into that, okay? If you know, you're not eligible, then obviously you're going to have to try to do what you can or find some other way. Um, you know, you're going to have to do, at some point, try to work to get in there and become a member. Now, the second thing you need to know with Navy Federal is that relationship banking, this is a, is a term you'll hear sometimes, uh, online is relationship banking is very important to Navy Federal Credit Union. And that means basically that you know you show you um, use their products, right? You're a good customer of theirs, right? You manage your money, well, all that kind of stuff. Um, and we're going to dive deeper into that a little later in the video because there's a way that Navy Federal basically looks at you and how they assess you. And you know, this is basically their like judgment of you in terms of uh, how they see you as far as you know, like the quality of customer that you are for them. So the third thing we'll talk about is um, with credit cards, okay? This is one of the biggest things people love about Navy Federal uh, is the credit cards and how you can get high limits with them. And you can oftentimes get them quicker than you can with other banks, okay, or credit unions. But it's still going to take time. So, you know, oftentimes a bank, um, you know, if you even do, say, say you get your credit card, right, and you even, whatever limits you get in the card, um, you know, you could call and ask for reconsideration for a higher limit if you want. But, you know, sometimes a bank every six months, every year, they'll look at your credit card and they may just give you a credit limit increase without you asking. Um, oftentimes, though, if you just ask at all, it's going to be a hard inquiry on your credit. So sometimes they'll say, yeah, you have to wait six months or you have to wait a year or whatever the case is. And even if you ask, they're still going to give you a hard inquiry. So, with Navy Federal though, one of the reasons people love it is because one, off the bat, sometimes people get really high credit limits. I mean, 12, 15, 18, $25,000. Um, sometimes not with the greatest credit scores either. That's one of the reasons they're so popular is because you know, they're N Navy Federal. They've tightened up a little bit over the last couple years um, because this was becoming very well known that they were giving these high credit limits to people who oftentimes you know, wouldn't be able to get that limit somewhere else. So they, you know, they've scaled it back a bit but they're still very well known for giving high, higher limits than normal. Maybe not as high as just two years ago, but they're, that's one of the things they've got a reputation for. So also with Navy Federal is you can, um, the common conception is that you wait three billing cycles or 91 days before you request a credit limit increase. Now, some people have done that before the 91 day mark. I've seen in the comment section um, before the three billing cycles, and they've been able to get a credit limit increase or apply for another credit card. And, with the credit limit increase, they've been able to do, they've been able to get approved for a credit card or they get the credit limit increase um, and it's not a hard inquiry. So I've heard different things in the comments section and talking to different reps too about this where they say, if you will say if you apply for a credit limit increase on the app or uh, on the computer, it's gonna be a soft inquiry. But if you do it over the phone, it's gonna be a hard inquiry. I had one rep tell me no matter what, it's gonna be a hard inquiry. I had another rep, he goes, well, it was even over the phone, it was, it might be a soft inquiry. Um, you know, and we might even be able to get you approved like five to 10% of the time. 
um, not that they would get you approved. He said five percent of the, five or ten percent of the time, um, it could just be an automatic approval, and the rep has no control over that. But this guy was cool; he was giving me some good info. So, so really, with Navy Federal, every three months, if you want to keep requesting credit limit increases, you can, and you may be able to just have it as a soft pull every single time. But it's still going to take time to get there. Okay, so you know they are generous in that regard, and they are more forgiving than lots of other places, but. Um, it's still gonna take some time to build those up depending on just what you're given from the get-go, but you can do it faster than other places. Now, fourth thing you wanna know before you join Navy Federal is when you're asking questions about stuff, um, you probably wanna check the same questions with multiple reps, okay, Be for several reasons. One, uh, oftentimes you can learn something new. So like where they pull, you know, where they pull from, credit limit increase, is a soft pull or hard pull, you know, doing product changes, things like that. I've learned a few things, really just being on the phone, talking with a representative, asking about something, you know, I'll be on the phone asking them a question. Sometimes the conversation will kind of veer off another direction. They'll bring up something I didn't even know about um, that you could do. So sometimes that does happen because you can get different information from people. But the flip side of that too is sometimes you get different answers that are not always accurate, okay? And this happened to me where I was talking to a rep who told me that um, you can get more of the same, uh, more than one of the same credit cards Navy Federal, which is true. And I was like, well, so can you get three flagship cards? because I have one right now, the flagship uh, credit card. And she says, yeah, you can. I said, can you get each of those up to up to $80,000? So you have $240,000 limit? And she said, yes, you can. That's what she told me. So I was talking about that here on the channel, and I did a video specifically about that. And then uh, some people in the comments were saying, no, you can only get 80,000 across all of your cards in Navy Federal, you can't actually do this. Some people had heard that you can get up to uh, 180,000 um, on, your three, if you get three cards, because you're allowed up to three with Navy Federal, like 50 on the other cards and 80,000 on the Visa Signature, the flagship, or the flagship card. And, um, but no, that I called, so then I called, after that, I called back, to, spoke to two different reps. One of them like knew right away, and the other one she had to look it up, and she confirmed though, she actually read it like from the manual, saying that if you're the primary card holder, um, you cannot have more than $80,000 in um, your credit limit across all of your credit card accounts. So if you have three cards, 80,000 total across all three. If you just have one flagship, it's 80,000 total, and you hit 80,000 on that, that flagship, that's the only card you're gonna have. If you're an authorized user on someone else's card, that's different. But um, yeah, you wanna call and check some of those things, because sometimes you are told something uh, different like that thing, like that, so you know. I mean, as also I learned about them saying, hey, you can, if you want, you can actually ask to get your interest rate lowered. You can do that whenever you want. And it does, it's not even a soft inquiry, let alone a hard inquiry uh, on, your, on your credit report. So you said usually if you, you do it in under six months or a year, they're probably gonna just tell you no, but it doesn't hurt to ask. So the fifth thing you wanna know too when it comes to this is actually Navy Federal can change policies at any time because people do find hacks. Sometimes people do try to uh, you know, abuse the system and that kind of thing. So someone will find a hack, they usually put it online somewhere and people find it and they start using it more and more and taking advantage of it and the Navy Federal like tries to close the loophole or close it up on uh, people. So they can change policies anytime, which is also part of the reason why sometimes you may get different answers on things from people, uh, from some of the phone reps, because you know sometimes a policy can change and maybe they didn't know about it or maybe they forgot or just things get lost in communication with um, big companies or big organizations, I should say. Uh, another thing you can do with Navy Federal is uh, you can actually ask for lower interest rate on your cards whenever you want. But typically it's gonna be about once every 12 months, okay? So that's when they're most likely to give it to you, uh, is what I had been told from the rep. And actually when I was on the phone with her, she was like, yeah, hey, let me just see right now if they'll uh, give you a lower interest rate on your card. And she's like, yeah, it's not, a, she goes, it's not a soft pull and it's not a hard pull. So she tried, they told me uh, no, but she goes, yeah, typically six, six to 12 months you can ask um, and they're more likely to give you a uh, lower interest rate on your credit card. So I think, did she say it can be like one or 2%? each year all the way down to a certain point. I don't remember exactly, but it was right around the, should you're there for about a year, then they're more likely to give it to you. The seventh and final thing you're gonna wanna know before you go and try to join Navy Federal Credit Union is there is this thing called an internal score that Navy Federal has. And this matters big time to Navy Federal Credit Union, this score, because it's really how they assess you, how they look at you and basically try to judge whether or not you're going to be a, you know, how they feel about your ability to handle money and be a good customer with them. Um, so there's this thing you get, this paper you get after you apply for a credit card. So I got it after I got approved for the, um, 
flagship credit card. And I guess even if you get denied, they're gonna send you this letter as well. So here's the letter and here's what it looks like, okay? A lot of people probably just throw this away because it does look like, when you get this, it just looks like any other generic mail you would get from um, a financial institution, credit card company, bank, whatever. So it looks like this. Um, so here it is. This is not my home address. Okay, this is my business address. People like freak out sometimes with that. So I do have a business address that I use. So when you look at this, um, it talks about just generic information, which is why people throw it out because it says, what is a credit report? How do we use your credit report? What if there's mistakes, right? It's just kind of good information about credit in general. But on the back is where they actually have your score, your Navy Federal credit score. And they do, they basically have their own internal scoring system at Navy Federal. Now it's interesting because I talked to one of the reps and I mentioned like the internal score and he goes, oh, because we don't, because we don't really have an internal score. And I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of looking at it right here on the paper. It says your Navy Federal credit score and it's yours. So I would call that internal, but okay. So they rank you uh, on a range here from 100 is the low up to 450. And mine was 286 after they approved me uh, for this card. So this is what they gave me. They said it's a number that reflects your information in your credit report. We use Navy Federal credit score to set the terms of credit. We are offering you, your credit score can change with Navy Federal depending on how your credit history changes. So basically, you know, they have an internal score for you. So, you know, there's a FICO score, right? You can check your score on Experian, you know, Vantage score, all these different credit scores, right? And ways of tracking and, um, you know, with people's credit. But what this is saying right here is Navy Federal has their own. So if you're good in terms of managing your money, um, if you're good in terms of things like building the relationship with them, the relationship banking, where you have a checking account with them, you have a savings account, people oftentimes open a CD account with them as well. Um, you know, maybe get, if they need a loan for something like a personal loan or a car loan, or they'll do a pledge loan or whatever, they do those kinds of things to show they're using Navy Federal's products, that they like Navy Federal, and then Navy Federal in turn is more likely to give you like a higher credit card limit or they're in turn more willing to help you because you've invested in them, right? You're using their products, you're using their service. They're able to make money from you having uh, money in your account, right? If you have direct deposit with them, that can help too. So that's part of the relationship banking is seeing that score that they give you and that's how they look at you as a customer. So you wanna keep that in mind. That's why you wanna use their products, use their services and just show that you know, you're gonna invest some of your financial energy with them and they'll invest theirs back with you. It's part of the reason uh, credit unions are oftentimes better because they give more personal attention like that than you know just the big bank where you're just really a number. So those are things you wanna know before you join Navy Federal Credit Union. Hopefully this video was really helpful for you guys. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so, the channel's growing quickly. It's going very well. Uh, I do appreciate you guys watching, spending some of your day with me on this. Hope I was able to help you with joining Navy Federal. If anybody else has comments, please put them down below. But that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.